Hello everyone. Let's start with the demo. So as we can see, we have the following network configuration. There is a user virtual machine with the IP address of 192.168.60.1. And also there is a private.com internal web server. This web server is only accessible from within the inside network, and it is not accessible from outside any of the network. And this home network is connected to the outside network via a router, which is situated at 10.9.0.11, and a local name server, which is configured inside the user virtual machine. And there is a fake book 303.com name server and Facebook fakebook303.com web server on the outside network. So the router, local name server, attacker name server, attacker web server, and private.com internal application server are all hosted as container within the user virtual machine. This is the configuration diagram. Now let's start with the attack reproduction. So First, we will see what the configurations are, and then we will showcase how cross-origin policy prevents the attack from being um, reproduced. And then we will rebind the DNS request and showcase DNS rebinding exploitation attack. So as you can see, this is the private.com internal web server. And this is our virtual machine. And if we ping private.com, private303.com, my bad. It is an internal IP address. Now we will ping the attacker name server, or if we just simply take the attacker name server. Which is responded by the local name server. And it is giving the attacker web server. I'm opening once again for the reference. So the local name server responds the face fakebook303.com's name server. And it responds the external IP address of attacker web server and private IP address of internal private. So let's get with the application setup. So this is the private web server. We also have APIs for this private web server, which is to get the color and set the color. If we just change the set color to, let's say, uh, back, and we get black, we can change it back to red. And the kit color also functions the same way. Now this is the fake book 303.com. And if we click on this, we should be able to change the web server, but it will not be the case because the cross origin policy will prevent this from happening. And if we just check on to the network and see what's the request that is going on. As we can see the get request It is having the address as the internal IP address. Now this is inside the virtual machine, 
61. And if we just click onto this, fakebook03303.com and hit the click button. And as you can see, it is trying to send the request to fakebook303.com, but the course origin has disallowed it. So now we will start DNS rebinding and how this is working. So for that purpose, 